This is the SEMA X5C-1, but this is the 10-year-old SEMA X5C-1. This is the very first drone that I got before I got into flying drones, and this thing has gone through a crazy life. When my grandpa got this exact drone 10 years ago, I really wanted to get it too because it was so much cool, and I eventually got it a year later. So I flew it, and I flew it, and I flew it, but I also crashed it, and crashed it, and crashed it. And eventually over the years, this guy just got so beaten up that ugh, after all the motor replacements we did, it just is not gonna fly anymore. But until today, I've decided I wanna make this guy fly again after all the beating up it's taken. So I'm gonna do whatever I can to make it fly again. So today's project, we're gonna see if we can get this guy to fly again. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a crazy project. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Eric and I run the channel Drones Flights and Reviews. And this drone was a really special drone to me and uh, so special to me that I eventually got one that you can get today for my brother. But anyway, I had so much fun flying this thing and it got me really skilled at flying. And I think today's the day we're gonna take this apart and fully fix it. So without further ado, let's get the screwdriver and start unscrewing the back. Let's first run it with a battery and we'll take a look at what's wrong so we'll see for sure. Hmm, already noticed. Look at this prep. Well that sure isn't spinning, right? Well, when we look at the underside, we can see that the gear right here that attaches to the gears on the prop slipped right off. Stupid stripped screws. How am I supposed to get this off? Okay, we've opened it up. This is what the inside of the SEMA X5C-1 looks like. I think I should start off by just taking out the motors because that's what we're gonna need to replace first. Let's take the pieces out now. I'm gonna replace all these motors because they're all just junk and super old. <laughs> All the motors are now off the drone, and now we are just going to wait a little bit, get some brand new motors, and we'll continue with the project. Well, it's two days later and four motors later. Got four motors chipped out to me, and now let's solder them on the drone. Oh, here we go, more packaging. Here they are, folks. I'm excited for this. Bruh. <laughs> I think we'll try a uh, quick motor test. So let's put on the respective blades where they're supposed to go. Okay, let's try this out. Okay. Well, <laughs> it tried to take off, but you know, that's a great thing. That's really good that it just tried to take off. That means everything's working how it should. The one thing left to do is pretty much just to put this all back together and we will take it 
quick maiden flight with the new stuff and we'll see how it works. So let's do this. All right. Oh man, we finally got this guy all the way back together to where we started. And now the last thing to do is see if it will fly. Now I will mention these motors again are feeling like they've been used before or something. They're just not in the best condition. This one's the one I'm most worried about. I don't know. Sounds weird. Doesn't go as good as the others. So just gonna hope that it flies right, and uh, let's go into a different room and fly it. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm really nervous. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is really crazy for me, guys. I haven't seen this thing fly in years. I'm gonna take a video that's for my dad. It's flying. I gotta say, I am super surprised that this thing's really flying. Like, this thing has not flown right for years. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. That's all I have to say is wow. I say wow because I was surprised at how little it took to really get this guy going back the way it should be. I mean, with how it was before, I was expecting I would have had to do so much more than just replacing all the motors. I thought I was gonna have to like do something related to the motherboard, which I don't know about that. Well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed me getting to take this 10-year-old drone apart and get to fix it, so I can fly it again, relive my old memories. I just hope you guys would consider subscribing and you can check my community posts for the most recent things that have been going on with my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see you guys.